All right, you guys, a simple video. I'm putting in a three prong plug in a 240 volt dryer. I'll put the model number in the description. I believe today when you do new renovation, you have to use four prong plug. Cannot use a three. This machine comes equipped to be wired both ways. Some machines now become equipped, and I think this one also, 110 not just 240 so things to consider if you're buying a new dryer I'm grandfathered in I, this location has been here over 50 years so I'm lucky I'm good to go but if it was a new renovation or I had to run a new line from the breaker it has to be for prime enjoy the video I'll see you guys in the next one bye A really great machine about $700 I'll get the model number from the back there's a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to change the heating element on this unit you got to be careful because I've seen at least two different versions I would suggest pulling yours out so you get the correct version you can get a little bit confused about what version is going on okay nice to see it has a light there that's a great deal the filter is right here Funniest thing, somebody actually threw this machine out, didn't have a cord on it, and when we first got it, we realized it wasn't blowing a lot of hot air. I couldn't figure out why until the wife <laughs> pulled out the filter. It was completely clogged, so the airflow was terrible. We cleaned the filter, put a cord on there for my old machine, and we were good to go. We got hot air everything works perfect lovely no issues no complaints love that it has a light inside I've heard very good things about this machine today I'm gonna put a six foot cord on here so if you get a cord for here you don't want to use a four foot you want to use a six foot you want that little room because the machine is leaning towards the right on you know, in the closet because the cord is so short it's actually tight so let me pause the video pull the machine out and of course I'm going to shut off the breaker before I pull the plug okay and hopefully you can see I'm using flexible duct there and the basket I have to put water in there wife is informing me it's not creating a lot of dust that's the rear duct this would be information on the machine more information this is the important part I want you guys to see about the three cord three wire and the four wire how it's hooked up so I want you guys to remember that okay I'm gonna raise the ISO here a little bit there we go that's a little better I should be able to see that better since I might be blocking some of the light the machine is 100% unplugged so there's no issues here with me doing something stupid. <laughs> At least not today, not right now. This is just a clamp that helps hold it in place. We're probably going to try to use the same clamp without going too crazy. Again, this, this cable I believe is 4 foot. And the one we ordered is 6 foot. And you can see the ground wire already here where you will put the fourth wire. Okay. Here's the cover there. Now on this 240 volt line, I'm going to have two hots here and the ground. If I had my meter here, I would test the ground or the neutral, excuse me. I believe it's a ground going there, but there's a second ground that would go on the four wire. I believe this is a ground, a hot, so I would get 120 here. I'd get 120 on this side. If I did these two, I'd get 240. Okay, on this particular location, okay? Let's loosen all these guys up, put our new cable in. This is the important guy right here. You guys can see that. Um, it illustrates how to do the four wire and the three wire. So you guys want to keep that in mind, okay? I 
Shouldn't have too much trouble with this once I get everything loose. Maybe feeding it back in might be a little bit tricky, but we should be all right. sniff the wires but you can kind of bend them to get them where you want them so they hopefully do slip out a little bit easier when you go to slip them out okay similar when you insert it what did I do with the new cable I put it somewhere let me go find it give me a second where I put there it is Similar bracket to what's already there. That's so if you tug on it and I'm measuring the distance here on the two cables, see what I got. And sure enough, I got a four foot and that was my issue. That's why I'm putting this new one in. Okay. These are a little bit more flexible, so that's nice. I kinda like that. I didn't think they were gonna be that easy to put them in, so I'm gonna flex them a little bit. And we should be good to go. That looks a lot better to deal with than what I had to deal with on the other one. The other ones are pretty stiff. The cord is old, could be dried out a little bit. So I'll put on one at a time. Looks like these guys have to go completely out. And I don't want to lose one of these, so I want to be careful. This is a good wee hot screwdriver, so it holds pretty good. That's a good thing. I'll have to tighten them down so I get them all in place. So I don't crimp anything. Okay. So far, so good. One more to go. And this video should end pretty quick. Now, I believe the code here is you're supposed to use a four wire for a new hookup. So if you're doing a renovation, the inspector's not gonna wanna see a three wire. He's gonna wanna see a four wire, okay? I just happen to be grandfathered in. This place is over 50 years old. There was a three wire here, so I don't have to change it. But if I was gonna change the breaker and the outlet there it should be a four wire plug okay and that ground should go here the last one now that four wire might have a neutral here and a ground here I don't know I, don't, I haven't done a four wire so I can't tell you that so that's something to investigate we tighten in the clamp this is basically so Again, you pull on the wire, you don't pull anything loose. This is 240 volt, you don't want stuff touching. Okay, that's important. Okay, you guys can see I'm tugging on the machine and I'm not getting it to move. So we're doing good there. Let's put the cover back in place and we should be good to go. Once I find it, of course, we found the cover, found the screw. <sighs> Looks like we got a little cushion to help keep things in place. Now all we got to do is turn the machine around, put the ductwork back where it came from. And I'll put that on loosely, I'll drop it in place. Now that I got all this room with the two extra feet, I don't my wife get more water in the basket a lot easier because she was having trouble even doing that. So it was a bit of concern, a bit of safety issue. That's why I'm doing it. Let me pause the video. We'll switch everything around, get everything connected and start it up again. Here you can see I reconnected the duct work there, the flexible holes. That's the bottom part of the basket. There's no water in there. You can see everything is dried out. This should be the top part of the basket. And that hose goes there. Ken makes a suggestion if a zip tie is not working for you, 
you can use HVAC aluminum tape. We use it on ductwork here all the time for hot water tanks for ductwork. Zero issue. The zip tie when I took it off does not want to readily stay in place. So I'm going to cut it out and use the tape I, I talked about. Okay, it seems like there's a piece of wire here. So I'm going to have to move that wire out of there. We go. Got it. Get this out of here. We'll go from there. This is the aluminum tape. I was talking about what we use for the duct work. If you don't leave an end on here, a little annoying to get on and off. I don't have to get it fully feed it. Just have to get it enough to wrap around. And I can do the bottom part and it'll stay in place. So I have it off the metal lip here so I can wrap it around properly and it stays in place the tape and the hose or the flexible ductwork a little annoying to stay straight so you kind of keep it straight so you can get it in place a lot easier I can feel it all, all the way around the metal ductwork, even though it moves, it's in place. That's the metal part coming out of the dryer that's moving. Like I said, <laughs> somebody actually threw this unit out. Okay. I'm gonna redo this. Make sure this is very secure. You do not want this guy coming loose on you. Okay. It does not have to be pretty. Pretty. I think over here in West Virginia they say patty. Guys, let me know. I'm not in West Virginia, I'm actually in Virginia. I just hear funny stuff the way they talk around here sometimes. Being from up north is, is kind of odd to me. Or different. They say the same thing about me. They ask me where I'm from all, all the time. They tell them I'm from Brooklyn. They say, of course. <laughs> okay, this ain't going nowhere. Now I can move the machine around. See, I got the water in there, and I'll put the cover in place after I get everything plugged in. Now yeah, we'll turn it on. See, guys. I got the duct work in place. I got my cord. I got plenty of slack there, and I got the dry a little bit to the side to give her more room to get in and out to put water in that container so we get less and as you can see we are good to go no issues no complaints end the video hope you enjoy